hi hope you're having an amazing day as you saw from the start of this video we are back with a, another makeup collection video so today we're going to tackle my setting sprays i believe we're going to be doing my lipstick lip glosses eyeliners liquid liners pencil form mascaras all of that maybe bronzers um we'll see how long this video gets and that's pretty much what we're gonna go through today so this is not an intended declutter i'm gonna be showing you guys my makeup collection if i declutter i'm gonna declutter but it's not really my intent so we're gonna go ahead and get into this if you want to see my setting sprays first off and the rest of my makeup collection just keep on watching <music> I did also upload a part one, which is going to be linked down below. That's actually going through my primers, my foundations, concealers, my cream products, my powder products, all of that. So if you want to see that, it's going to be in the description box below. And here I actually have this candle that says today's a new beginning with some sponges in here, which are kind of dirty, girl. You're not cute. This is actually where I put like my um, lashes and stuff sometimes. We have this beauty, which is from the Dollar Tree, and I actually keep like no... Uh, glues in here and some nail files so i just thought this is such a beautiful little container all right so we're going to go through my little baby setting sprays first because i have a few right here aren't these so cute so the first setting spray is actually from ionic cosmetics and this is their face finishing spray and i actually really enjoy this if you guys saw a while back if you guys follow me on tiktok i actually did post a video about this product and it's amazing especially for summertime I actually might spray some on now because it feels so good it does have a fragrance to it and it also is a strong mister so keep that in mind so do have this ioni cosmetics finish glow spray which is actually newer to the collection and i also do have their pink one but i haven't used it yet i have to talk about it in a haul video first but yeah this is their newer setting spray that has a little bit of shimmer in it but honestly it looks amazing we also have my two little ellie colors face mist refreshers in coconut and the uh, cucumber these are actually really good as well really love the size love that they're all travel size amazing and then we have the le mercier matte finish setting spray which is also from dollar tree love that it's pink so it's giving girl so now we're gonna get into my bigger ones this is actually the one that i took with me on the cruise this is the Her revolution elf movie little setting spray it smells like sugar cookie it smells so good and i love that's tiny it's pink it's just perfect for me so really enjoy this setting spray girl next we have the luck in your makeup setting spray from shamise which is newer to me i really enjoy this so far um, we have this one as well which is another one of their newer setting sprays this is their flawless matte setting spray which i did use in a recent video does look like so in case you were wondering they also do have a primer spray as well we have this one which is also another goodie the beauty creations time yeri Miwe, which came in this most beautiful packaging another little baby setting spray is the one size until dawn waterproof setting spray is also mattifying this one's actually really good i wouldn't say it's like my most favorite to be honest but it's pretty okay i like it and i still have some in there oh i miss this little baby one down here it's trying to hide the ellie colors hydrating face mist it's actually um the older one so i think this is a repackage and then this is the old version they're basically the same thing next we have the power grip dewy setting spray which is so nice i just really need to grab this again it's been a while i did use it in a recent video um but yeah it's just kind of been sitting there haven't been wearing that much makeup lately we also have the usha setting spray which is from timu and is an alleged dupe of the urban decay setting spray to be honest no it's not um but the actual packaging looks really similar actual product is not the same so the metamorphosis de bonita setting spray which is actually really nice as well it is supposed to be mattifying so really have been enjoying this as well it does come with a nice little nozzle and newer to me i did do a hello kitty full face using a bunch of hello kitty makeup i'm gonna have it down below this is kind of like a random little store that i went to and i guess they get like a lot of burglars and stuff so they put a lot of tape on stuff as you can tell i bought it for 4.99 and this is from makeup magic it's the prep and prime fix plus setting spray with the little hello kitty on it next we have the revolution the simpsons collection i really love this collection i believe it was like part of one of their valentine's ones i want to say this one's a summer of love collection i love she's so cute Ooh, this is one that i like to reach for just like the Ina cosmetics when it's like really hot outside it just feels so good on the skin this is the xm beauty bond and seal moisturizing setting spray 
feels good it looks so cute i love the little nozzle and the spray it feels amazing so if you happen to see this girl grab it it's so cute another beauty the milk hydro makeup setting spray this is our grip plus and refreshing setting spray another goodie you guys know how much i love this this one specifically was sent to me but i've actually raved about this for many many years or now i used to buy the little mini version but girl so good I forgot about the setting spray this is the ellie girl pro perfect oil control matte finish I need to do a video on this girl ASAP. I completely forgot I had this. Two Face Hangover 3-in-1 little setting spray situation. I got this from TJ Maxx or Marshalls and it's actually really good. Love that I also have their primer. I like the packaging. It's cute. I'm going to shake because it does have some like glimmers in there. This is the pink one. This is Omiko Stay Glow Fix Plus from Timu. Pretty cute. I wouldn't say like it has a bunch of shimmers. Well, you can tell there's shimmers, but it doesn't look like that on the face it looks different from what i remember but we're gonna have to try this out again lastly we have two of the creme shop setting sprays first off we have the my melody setting and priming spray which is really cute and then we also have the hello kitty celebrate little setting spray this is cute too i'd say if you happen to see these definitely pick them up they're adorable girl and i like to like kind of collect them so if i see more i'm definitely gonna pick them up So next we have my lip liners and my brow products which live in these like barbie little cups that i got from the 99 so let's start off with the brow products so first off oh gosh i have this little like ioni cosmetics brush which is what i use to clean my like mirror and stuff so we're gonna keep that in there we have this milk makeup high roll brow tint which honestly girl i haven't used this at all so i need to give this a go because i haven't used it um but this one here is in the shade diesel need to throw this in my like new makeup bin we also have the revolution peptide strength lash and brow serum which was sent to me from um, revolution so thank you so much i have that in here we have this product which i actually like to keep in here because it has the makeup remover little um like pen situation I don't know where I purchased this. I think it was from Timo. You just kind of switch them out and it removes, like if you made like an eyeliner mistake or anything like that, or you get makeup somewhere which wasn't supposed to be there. This is the perfect product. So I like to keep it in there as well. I have quite a few of my She Glam favorite brow pencils. As you can tell, I have quite a few backups and these are the Revolution Brows on Demand 2-in-1 brow pencils in the shade Chocolate. So I have a few of those. I really enjoy these. So a couple of Shamus A brow products, as you guys know. Um, where's the other one? This one. Okay. So oh, this one too. Okay. So first off, we have their Slim Brow, which you guys know is my favorite in the shade Ebony. You guys know I love this. We also have the Micro Brow Pen, which I like to use along with that pencil, which comes with a little like fork kind of product as you can tell and this one's really good in the shade dark brown we have the easy brow styler which is also really good in the shade dark brown i'm just like not a fan of the actual like i don't know not my fave we also have one of their newer products their dual brow definer also i don't know like these are not my favorite but it does come with a little like thin side and then it comes with a little like teardrop on the other side we have the sculpt brow pencil in the shade black i believe which looks like that again that teardrop shape is not my favorite so we have a couple from timu no we only have two okay so the eye method beauty product is kind of like the shamise one where it comes with a little fork applicator what can i best show you so you can see it comes with three little forks like i actually really enjoy that product we also have the easy brow contouring not my favorite wouldn't recommend it to you but it does come with like various little brow shades. I have a few left. We have a couple. I keep seeing a couple. It's like two. Two of the CoverGirl products, which were actually sent to me from them. They're gifted the Clean Brow Brow Liner in the shade Dark Brown, which is so nice. It's like really nice and like thin. It's like teeny tiny. Let me show you on her head. And then we have this one, which is their brow filler which is really cool because it is a brow it is a pomade pencil it's like really really pigmented also a teardrop shape 
so i love that combo we also have the Ina Cosmetics Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, which is my fave. We have this one here, which is actually from, I think one of like the dollar stores or something. But this is the She Mystic Moods Brow Pencil, which is so good, girl. I really enjoyed using this product. And I think this one here is in Dark Brown as well. Lastly, we have the Frida Kahlo, uh, the She Glam Little Collection, which comes with a little pen applicator, which looks like so. So those are all my brow products. I have no intention in decluttering any of these because I don't have that many, to be honest. And honestly, what I reach for the most are the Chic Lam ones, but I like to keep the other ones for different videos and such things like that. So these are all my little brow products. I also do have like pomades and stuff and little like brow glues, brow glues, um, brow, little like brow sets and stuff, which I'm going to show you a little later, but these are like my brow pencils. Moving on to my lip liners. They're all in here. I think I am going to get rid of a few from here. Let's go ahead and take those out. Oh, they're running a little wild. We have a few of the, um, Aoi Studio eyeliner, uh, eyeliners, girl. What am I? What? I just woke up from a nap, so. Did buy the little collection of the Awis Studio Artista lip liners, which I actually wanted to film a video just watching these on my lips. So I am going to go ahead and keep all these, but I do have all the little lip liners. I like that they're like travel size. They're tiny. I'm going to grab one of them to show you the actual applicators, like a little ball, which is really interesting for a lip liner, really interesting route. But yeah, I'm going to be swatching these on TikTok hopefully soon. Okay, and with that note, we have a couple of other away studio lip liners which i did purchase recently why are you in here this is a brow pencil <laughs> um yes yeah, so we have a collection of the away studio lip liners as well so these are actually also taking up a lot of space in here but i do also want to swatch all these so these are the cosmic cowgirl it comes with a lip liner and a bare one what does it come with let's see Oh, okay. So it comes with the lip liner. And then, oh, the brush. So you can do like a little ombre vibe. I completely forgot about that. Interesting. All right. So they all come with that. So we're going to go ahead and swatch these on TikTok as well. I have uh, some Ebony York lip liners in here. But uh, my faves are um, in my everyday makeup drawer, which I did show in my last video. I think these are the only two that are in here right now. And also do have a bunch of backups in my little backup drawer situation. Um, so we have the uh, Ebony York 24 Hours Auto Lip Liner in the shade Taupe. And then we also have this dark tone in the shade Ultraviolet. So these are just like retractable lip liners, which I love. The shade Brown and Dark Brown, as you guys know. But Taupe used to be my go-to girl. This one was good too. Love. Okay, we also have LA Colors lippies in here so these are part of their like little these are really cheap i think these are the ones that are a dollar these are the ellie colors auto lip liners we have a couple different shades i like to use these when i do my full faces of dollar tree and things like that so i like to keep a variety of these we have the shade perfect brown um the shade mauve and also the shade what shade are you girl it already rubbed off cafe cafe so i like to keep these on hand I do have two She Glam ones. These two She Glam ones, honestly, they came in a set and that's why I purchased them. But I hate that they don't have the names on them. But they're basically kind of like the Ebony York. They're retractable lip liners. And they're pretty okay. Not my fave, but, you know, I like to keep them. I have a one size lip liner in the shade Code Word, which is actually really nice. However, you do have to sharpen it. So that's why I don't really reach for it as much. I don't really love the formula. So it's just kind of there, but I do use this we have this beauty creations new wait yeah nude x can't handle little liner which i did impulsively buy it's a little light though but we're gonna keep her obviously put this over here why am i hiding it from you guys we have the smashbox be legendary lip and prime pencil in the shade medium brown i believe this one was sent to me and this one's so nice should i swatch them just a really pretty color it's a little lighter than i go for but it's cute okay these two honestly i do not need so i'm gonna go ahead and declutter but these are the gabriella lip liners part of the barbie collection or should we keep her actually we're gonna keep them sorry about it 
in case I'm going to do a Barbie look one day. We have another LA Colors gel lip liner. This one here is in the Chic Cafe. I just realized it's the same name as the other lip liner. This one's pretty nice as well. They're pretty old though. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade uh, Chain Reaction. I always forget about these. This is a really pretty color as well. We have this NYX lip pencil in the shade Expresso. I was trying to find like dupes for my favorite Evan New York auto lip liner. This one's a little hard to swatch. I don't love lip pencils like that. The ones you have to sharpen. Pretty Air lippy pencil. Completely forgot I had this. Oh, I think I had like trouble sharpening this product. I'm going to keep her just in case. The J Cat Roll It Up um, Eye Pencil. This is supposed to be a lip, an eyeliner, but I use it as a lip liner. I paid $149 for this. And I also purchased it along with this product, which is a Roll It Up um, lip liner. Yeah, auto lip liner. So I thought these were the same, even though, look, they look completely different. But let's see how they swatch. See, that's a really beautiful lip liner. I don't know why I haven't used that. And then we have this one here. Ooh. Very comparable to my Ebon ones. And lastly for lip liners, we have the e.l.f. Love Triangle Lip Filler Liner, which I like to keep for when I do my e.l.f. full faces. But it's like a little triangle vibe. This color is like pretty light, but it's cute. It does a job. Cute. So those were all my lip liners and then my like brow pencils. All right, girls, so this is the collection we have going right now of mascaras, liquid liners, pencil liners, and my brow sets are in here as well. So we're going to do the brow sets first. It comes in this beautiful mug that I purchased from Marshalls or TG Maxx. Yeah, I removed the sticker, but look at how cute this is. It says Drama Mama on the back. So we're going to go ahead and take out everything that's in here. So first off, we have the CoverGirl Clean Fresh um, Brow Enhancer, which is a clear wax. This one is so good. So I really love this one. We're obviously keeping her. We have the AWA Studio Shadow Stay Eye Primer, which looks like that. I think I used this in a recent video as well. So this is new. We're keeping her. Eye primers and brow sets are in here. We have my Ione Cosmetics Brow Gel in Clear, which is newer to me. This is their summer collection. The She Glam Semi Up Brow Gel. Girl, you know I use this a lot. So it is like flat, but on the sides you do get like little brushes. As you can tell, it's really nice. Next we have the She Glam Brow Breakdown Brow Gel, which I completely forgot I had. But it does come with a little like moment looking like that. I don't know. And um, we also have Milk Makeup Cush Brow Lamination Gel. Girl, I need to reach for my products. These have been sitting there for a while. Ooh, this one's really, really old. We're going to have to declutter this. Smoke and Mirrors Brow Styler has to go. We also have the LA Colors Browy Wowie Lamination Effect Brow Gel, which I like to keep for my full faces of LA Colors. Keeping her, we also have this AWA Studio Soft Nude Eye Base situation, which is new. We also have... This is the older version of the Ina Cosmetics Brow Gel. And then we have the new version. So it is different color packaging, same product. We have these two here. We have the NYX the Brow Glue, which is a girl. Kind of gross in there. Ew. Okay, we're thinking about her. We also have the Huda Story the Brow Glue in here, which is an alleged dupe. I'm going to keep them for now, girl. They're just a little messy vibes. We're going to get rid of the AWA Studio Sculpt Brow Pomade. I just, I'm not into these products. And then we have this Magical Girl Brow Lift Sculpting Wax. I don't touch this, so we're going to get rid of this as well. All right, so that's pretty much it for this mug. Again, basically just holds all my brow products. I don't know why I don't just toss them in the other mug. Anyway, whatever. Well, we have that. I have two mugs with my mascara. First mug looks like so. It's so pretty. It has both um, pictures on either side of the mug. And this one was $4.99 at Marshalls. We're going to go ahead and talk about these by brand. Um, this mug here comes with 
so we have jasmine you have sasha you have jade with all the bradstick on the sides so cute and i think this one was oh 5.99 at marshall's let's go ahead and take these out okay so we have some from dollar tree we're gonna go ahead and separate them let's go ahead and go into the smaller one that i have the elf big mood mascara and this is just a little travel size love this mascara i just need to remember to reach for it but love using this little mascara i'm gonna go ahead and put her there i'm gonna go into my more like random ones we have these two from the 99 cent store before they close i went ham and purchased a bunch of products we have their volumizing and lengthening mascara so it's actually from pearl world it's so cute love the packaging don't really love the wand of this product it's just really odd shaped oddly shaped and it just like i don't know something about it we also have the uncommon cosmetics lengthening mascara which this one i actually do like a little more because it is that hourglass shaped almost it's really pretty this one here is a newer to me the oz lab mascara this is their fiber mascara which i actually did take with me on the cruise and i really did enjoy this one i really like the wand it's like a really nice shape so love also has similar packaging to that of like the beauty be pure one from uh, the dollar tree put those there so we can add as we go all right so we do have a few of the shop Missé mascaras which are newer to me first up we have the tall lash mascara which looks like so and this one is the dark brown one which i need to use for like an everyday get ready with me vibe but it, this one's really interesting because it's not a brush it's just like a flat almost plastic kind of mascara which is really interesting love the packaging just gets a little dirty but it's cute put her there a the away studio curl lifting mascara is nice as well just haven't used her in a while i don't really love the wand of this one look at it it's like kind of curved curved vibes i don't know i just bought it because it's pink but you know you don't really need it these three that i have next actually came together in a haul because they started adding a bunch of new mascaras we have the uh, inner self flutter by mascara which is also really interesting it has that curved kind of vibe going we also have this one which i say is the most like cheapy feeling one this is their dream dream lift volumizing mascara which is cute it's just a little clumpy looking i don't know I haven't used it yet and lastly from the new mascaras we also have their dual flex which comes with a twin one kind of vibe it comes with the lengthening side here which looks like that and then we have the volume side which looks like so so this one, this one's actually really nice i did use it recently in a video all right shall we just get into the dollar tree products we also have these ione ones here um or should we do these these were like some that were sent to me in pr um let's do pr and then we're going to move on to dollar tree so first off we have the covergirl the clean lash blast cleantopia mascara which was sent to me from a covergirl thank you so much and this one's actually really nice it's like a blue it's almost like a navy kind of color stunning girl i need to do a look with this product asap again um this one here is in ultramarine black stunning love the product like the formula love the color everything about it is amazing we also have this milk makeup kush mascara which is actually really nice and weighted i love this one this one's so good as well next we have the smashbox super fan fanned out mascara which is a really cute i actually use this in quite a few videos i love doing those like red monochromatic looks when i use this because of the packaging but the actual mascara is amazing we also have this one for milk and this is their kush high roll mascara which i need to use in a video as soon as possible because i don't think i've used this yet so yeah okay we're gonna move on to ione cosmetics and then these like random ones so we, you guys know i love my ione cosmetics mascaras the colorful ones are amazing we have their volumizing mascara in the shade divinity and the shade persian purple so this one girl yes for the lower lashes when i do blue look this is what i go for love it 
and again I also have this purple one girl amazing we came across these recently at the Dollar Tree they changed the packaging but these are the volumizing mascaras in blue and the shade of black so it's basically the same formula they just changed the packaging so it's more of a swirly kind of vibe this one actually looks a little darker right let's compare them oh yeah the new one is deeper and the old one is lighter interesting i didn't even notice that good to know now you know oh but this is a different color the other one's divinity blue okay and then we also have this traditional just like a black mascara really like the wand of that one We have these three. This one is from Beauty Intuition. They're volumizing mascara, which to be honest, I just keep because it's pink. Yeah. Only reason that I keep that one. The City Color. Girl, this one's a little old vibes. Doesn't even want to open. We're going to go ahead and declutter her. We have the Ellie Colors mascara. I think this is our colored one. Yeah, in Tropical Purple. Ooh, that's really nice. Okay, and then lastly, we have these mascaras from the Dollar Tree, which are all from Be Pure, I believe. We have all the different colors. First off, we have this one in white. They're not colored. They're just um, different ones. Kind of wish they would come out with different like colored mascaras in this line. Um, but this is the white one. This is a look at the wand. It's actually really nice and long. Love it. Then let's move on to the pink one, which you know I had to grab. Again, they all come with a different wand. This one is a hourglass shape wand. Let's do the green one. I like to interchange these when we're doing like uh, monochromatic looks for work and such. There's a look at that wand. It's kind of curved. Let's do the orange. So pretty. It's going to be so cute during um, Halloween there's a look at the wand again I like to buy my mascaras because of the like I just love the aesthetic of mascaras like this we are moving on to the pink this is the dark pink we also have again the light one I'm actually gonna move these the other way I'm gonna go ahead and turn them so I can see the colors but as you can tell we have the light pink and the dark pink so the dark pink comes with a mascara that looks like this really nice oh girl want to see the colors then we have the blue mascara which looks like so and the wand is way bigger on this one i don't know why and lastly we have the purple mascara which comes with a smaller one thankfully i don't love the giant ones i don't know why they make them like that so we're gonna go ahead and put that there this one looks way more crowded over here this one looks crowded so we're gonna go ahead and move a couple over let's move the shamasi one i want them to be like equally cute so those are my little mascara mugs all right and then this is the last little mug that sits on that um, little organizer that i showed you guys in my other videos so this one has all of my liquid liners pencil liners in here i love this mug it's so cute and this one was 6.99 at marshall's basically has a little image on both sides i'm going to take these out Ooh, let's go through my liquid liners first because i have quite a few i don't know if i got all my pencil liners out of here but i'm guessing i did i don't know let's start off with these like ink pen ones i to be honest these are not my favorite these are like the ones you have to dip i do not use these at all but somehow I have them for some reason. This one too, this one too. They're all like dip kind of liners. I'd much rather a pen like this. These are like my favorite ones, the pens. And then we have these like dip ones. And look, I have quite a few dip ones for some reason. So let's talk about these two, which are actually from City Color. These are the Be Bold Color Liners. And I like to use these for like when I do a colorful little moment, but girl, 
yeah she's got to go and we have the black one which i never use yeah so this one is pretty okay so we're gonna go ahead and keep her and these are actually really nice and pigmented girl yes love all right so then we have this nyx studio liquid liner in the shade what shade are you extreme purple so this one's really nice however it takes forever to build up but the actual like color is stunning it's a really beautiful and it's also from the 99 cent store so love next we have this barbie liquid eyeliner which came in a little set so you know we're keeping her it's a little like liquidy vibes but girl that shade is stunning as well really dark and pigmented so we're keeping her obviously we're gonna put the mug here so you guys can see me throwing them in there we have this smoke and mirrors um color pop eyeliner in yellow and i did get rid of all my other ones but i kept yellow because i like to have a little pop of color um let me compare it to the aos studio eyes on me eyeliner you see how they have different vibes going so i'm gonna keep both I like these again for a little pop of color. A with Studio Eyes on Me in white. This one here is in the shade Ooh La La. It's just so pretty. This is the only white liner that I have. We have this Flower Beauty liquid liner from the Dollar Tree. This one's also really pretty from what I remember. It's like a navy color. Stunning. Also, it does have some shimmers to it. That's really beautiful. Alrighty, so then we get into these, which I don't really reach for. These are the Ava Studio. We have the LA Colors one as well. All three of these are from Chamise. We have this LA Colors liquid eyeliner in black, which I'm going to keep because you guys know. I'm going to do a full face of Sham uh, LA Colors. and This one's pretty okay. Not a favorite, but we're going to keep her. Um, the Ava Studio Feather Ink is newer to their line and so i purchased this it's giving me vibes of that other one that i just watched we have their magical girl liner and then we have their um, cosmic cowgirl not my favorite but i'm gonna go ahead and keep next we have my liquid eyeliners but these are the pen form which you guys know i love we're gonna go ahead and move my favorite shamas a ones out of the way What is this? Oh, then we have Ione Cosmetics. Girl, I'm not the biggest fan of these lash glue eyeliners, but I do have the Ellie Colors one that I purchased a while back. I'm not going to swatch this, but there's a look at that liner. We're going to keep her. I think I'm going to... Should I get rid of this one? Or should I get rid of this one? Because I don't like it that much. Yeah, we're going to get rid of her. We're going to keep the little other one all right next we have elf waterproof eyeliner you guys know you have to pry this out of my hands because i really love this liner so good we also have the um rimmel wonder ink eyeliner which is actually pretty good as well really nice and black really easy to use this is the away studio one i completely forgot about this like rainbow kind of liner it's also really nice so why do I have the other ones? I don't know. We have the Ellie Girl, the Artiste um, brush pen eyeliner. Again, for the packaging mostly. But look, it's so black. And it is a little like brush tip applicator. We also have this uh, Hello Kitty Belinda Beauty eyeliner, which I did use in my full face of Hello Kitty makeup. All of these are so good. Okay, then we have my Ione Cosmetics eyeliners. We have this two-in-one lash glue which i just keep for videos and then we also have this felt tip eyeliner in black which is newer what is this girl uh yeah okay so these are my favorite colored eyeliners girl these are the best ones you're gonna find especially the blue one i always get compliments when i use these because of how pigmented these are on the eye especially when you do colorful looks so i have a a ton of backups but let's do the brown one the brown one honestly is the one that i use the least but it's really underrated it's so good let's watch the forest green one another goodie i hate liquid liners that are light like this 
I cannot do a wing with those, girl. No. But these are, like, really, really pigmented. So, I love using these. The purple. Lovely. And I do have a backup of that one. And then the blue one. Girl. These are so good. So, if you can get your hands on these. These are the ones with the brush tip applicator. With a repackaged version of these liners. However, get the ones with the brush tip applicator instead of the... Um, the other one like the pen one is not great, but the brush tip applicators are amazing All right, next we have my pencil eyeliners, which this should be more of a breeze because I have a lot of Ellie colors liners These were actually sent to me a while back girl long time ago Okay, I and e, we have these two all right, so these are all my LA Colors Auto Liners. What are these called? Neon liners. We have their gel lip liners. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch these for you guys. This one here is in the shade brown. I love this one. It's so good. You do have to sharpen them, obviously. Um, this blue one, girl, when I do a blue look, you know I'm reaching for this one. It's just so pigmented. It goes great with the liner. Then we have like this champagne -y one, which is in the shade Celebrate. This is another goodie, girl. It's like really pigmented. Just look at that. Another one that's part of that kind of champagne -y kind of um, collection. This one here is in Mermaid Tail Shimmer. So good. These are like $3.50 on the site. We also have this lip liner. We have this other lip liner. And these are like to throw in with my eyeliners because of the shades. I just don't want to use these on my lips. But on the eyes, these are stunning. Let me tell you guys the name of that one. Figgy. We also have this one in the shade Hottie. Again, these are supposed to be for your lips. But I like using them as eyeliners. We have this beautiful yellow tone in Citrus. Cute. Just a little drier. On the dry side, I never use these the like super colorful ones no but i love like the dark ones um the then we have flash white which is so cute and lastly we have midnight black which i reach for all the time so good so good okay i need cosmetics i have two from their line we have their fat chubby stick in bali gaze Oh my god, that's stunning. I need to do a brown look ASAP. And then we have their traditional liner here in black. Just really good as well. Just their gel liner. And then we have these here, which we have the Milk Makeup Infinity Longwear Liner in Outer Space. A little messy, but it's really, really pigmented. This one's so amazing. All of these liners are amazing, girl. I love my liquid liners and my pencil liners. We have two of the gel liners from Chamisse, which honestly, these are really underrated. I don't hear a lot of people talking about these. There's the brown. On the eyes, it looks amazing. My hand's sweaty, so these are not swatching as well. Black and brown. Cute. And lastly, these are some that I like to use also when I'm doing my colorful looks. These are from Beauty Bay, and these are the shadow sticks. Okay, we have Dumbo, and then we have the Sh Shesmere Cat, or whatever, from Alice in Wonderland. So these are really nice, as you can tell, and pigmented. I like to use the purple one. I use the most, actually. These are stunning, and you can see, like, the print of my the waterline print right there okay i guess so those were all my liquid and pencil eyeliners there's a look at these swatches of everything look at those two beautiful that one too this one here is so underrated i need to do a look using the liquid eyeliner from artista from chamise this one in the waterline this one as well all right, girls, so these are my lip glosses up here and my liquid lipsticks on the little ones and the middle one. So I think we're going to do lip glosses first, which I feel like <sighs> I need to declutter something from there. Should we do liquid lipsticks? Hmm. Let's do lip glosses first. I actually have them in these little containers from the Dollar Tree. 
really cute these are actually like party favor buckets i don't know i have no idea but i do have all my glasses in these two first off we have these b color lip gloss with pom-poms these are adorable and these are so cute like when i throw them in my purse but you don't get a lot of product in here it's just for show kind of vibes you know so those are my first two little glasses in here next we have my barbie glasses that i got from forever 21 and these are actually lip oils but i like to use them as the glasses you get the like white one and the pink i'm not really going to swatch the glasses because they're kind of like self-explanatory we have the w7 eye shot plumping oil which actually i did use with the brown lippy so that's why it's like kind of stained we have these glossy products from Chamisse. These are the Cosmic Cowgirl um, Liquid Lip Gloss products. Aren't they so cute? I might have to swatch these because they are like stunning. I'm gonna have to swatch, do like a lip swatch video or something. I love the packaging and I love that you can see the color through the packaging. So cute. And we also have the Milk Makeup odyssey lip oil gloss and this one is so pretty in the shade soul search look at that girl oh i love this color i need to do a look with this asap i would say that i need to do it this time the miss betty matte lip gloss i use in my hello kitty full face and this one's also another beauty sorry i tapped the camera but this one's stunning we have these two from shamase these are the it was studio um papa lulu's lexi lips we have two of the shades beauty creations and yari mua this is actually one that i had given away but i was like girl i need it in my life it's stunning it's like a nice like brown tone it's beautiful i actually narrowed down my little lip pops from aoe studio because i had quite a few i just ended up keeping the shade city girl and wild child in my collection but these are basically the doe foot applicator kind of glosses look at that shade stunning i'm gonna go ahead and swatch city girl for you as well look at how beautiful that is we have this one from beauty creations this is their dare to be bright lip gloss which i also love so much it's just so beautiful especially over like a nude lippy so good we have the Ewe Studio Gloss Highlight, which is the Magical Girl one. This one's a little old. I don't think I've touched it. I need to do something with this. I love the big giant like Dofa applicator vibe. We also have this one, which is newer to me, the Ewe Studio Cosmic Cowgirl Glitter Lip Gloss in the shade Wild West, which is beautiful. It comes in a couple other shades. We have two of the Ellie Colors lip glosses here which i like to keep again for full faces we have the shade love and the shade passion really cute as well we have the three lifter glosses from maybelline um two of them are just their gloss and one is their lifter plump which is really nice love these lip glosses if you haven't seen them there's a look at that the names are crystal 10 which is this beauty here this one does have like shimmers to it so beautiful then we have this one which is in stone it's more like a wearable brown kind of vibe this one i'm not going to swatch because it is plumping but it's this beautiful pinky kind of vibe it's really pretty we have another hello kitty little lip gloss this is the high shine glitter gloss from hot topic so this one's really pretty as well. I like to use when I do my Hello Kitty looks. Oh, I forgot about the uh, Physicians Formula Diamond Lip Plumper. It used to look a lot better, but now it's like kind of gross in there. This one's also another beauty. It also does plump the lips. We have the e.l.f. Plout Clout, Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen, which is also more on the glossy side. So that's why I keep it in here this a barbie times nyx it's a barbie party lip gloss this is so cute and as you can tell it's gonna be pink it's beautiful
We also have this little baby gloss that came with the um, Barbie palette, which this gloss is just so teeny tiny, I'm never gonna use it. So we're gonna go ahead and declutter. And lastly, in this first bin of glosses, we have this little lip lip gloss, which is actually from Timu. It's in the shade 04 and it comes with a little Dofa applicator and it is also plumping, so I'm not gonna swatch, but how cute is that? All right, so there's the first bin. Look at the second gloss bin. All right, first off, this one is from the Dollar Tree. This is the Crystal Waters Cherry Blossom Lip Gloss, which actually came with a lotion. If you guys saw my oh, my um, recent haul video. Honestly, I'm not living for this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give this away to someone else so they can use it, but yeah. This one is actually new as well. This is a Paris Hilton Juicy Lip Plumper. I have two other colors but it's basically just a little lip gloss situation i completely forgot i still have my lip oils and my uh my lipsticks i completely forgot i have to show you guys that okay we have a bunch of these remy uh rose lip glosses in here there's a look at my remy rose lip gloss collection we have this like white sparkly one we have a couple of their like matte lip glosses that just come with color and no shimmer i have so many i honestly don't remember any of the names so i'm just going to show them to you so i have a, quite a few of these i'm not going to declutter any of them because these are amazing we also have some like hershey's and Reese's little lip glosses from the dollar tree which i also do not plan on getting rid of we have this we have these two candy pop lip glosses from the Shamase website, which are really pretty. Again, love them. The um, Pop and Rugrats little collection. These are so cute. How cute are those? So we have the um, Bobby and the little like Chucky one. The three Forever 21 lip glosses, which you guys saw in a recent video. I have the shade Cherry, Angelic, and Clearly. So cute. These are actually really good. We also have this Metamorphosis lip gloss, which is getting up there in age in the shade brillas it's just a beautiful pink tone i cannot get rid of this we have the amuse lip gloss that's kind of like a alleged dupe of the jua um jeffree star lip gloss that's stunning then i have the pink one here from jua girl i remember when jua was like on and popping I need to reach for the, this lip gloss more but again this was part of the jeffree star little collection this one's so good as well this is a tally deluxe fill in thirsty plumping gloss which is so beautiful in the shade um this is a shade heartbreaker but it was 2.99 stunning also does come with like a big dofa applicator Next, we have the Beauty Glazed Lip Gloss, which is actually from Timu in the shade Pattaya. This is so beautiful as well. I don't know why I don't reach for this one. It's like a big Dofa applicator. Oh, I did mix it in with a brown lippy. We have the Rude Cosmetics Lip Gloss, the Berry Juicy one in the shade Flirty. And this one I actually got from Hot Topic. I like to mix my lippies with brown stuff, and it just looks like messy afterwards. Next, we have the W7 Thick Drip Lip Gloss, which honestly, I regret grabbing this shade. I don't know why I grabbed the orange one, but they have a couple other shades at five below. So yeah, definitely recommend look through the shades and pick your favorite. We also have the Too Faced Kissing Jelly Gloss, which I mentioned before, don't do it. You get like so little product. The actual product is beautiful, but you don't get enough product in here to justify the price, girl. There's a look at the Dofa applicator. It's really, actually stunning. But again, it's just like a lot of money for this little baby gloss. These cute like Barbie lip glosses from Gabriella. This is the um, Grabella lip glosses from the Cute Bargain. So I love these. These are so cute. Just keeping them for aesthetics, you know, why not? We have a whole collection of these um, Barbie lip glosses. I think they were also from Five Below. They were part of a little set. Yeah, these are so cute. So we're obviously gonna keep all of these. And they're like all at the bottom too. Okay, two more. And then we have these two 
glosses as well hershey's and reese's from the dollar tree and this cheetos lip gloss which i have to do a cheetos look soon all right so that's the second bin of, oh a gloss film this is the second bin full of glosses all right next you guys saw my liquid lipstick collection has shrunk it is so much less than i used to have you guys know how much i used to own um so it has definitely i have definitely downsized this side of my collection because i only reach for certain liquid lipsticks which are my Too faced liquid lipsticks which you guys know i use them all the time this is my little lip gloss collection as of now so we're gonna go ahead and go through those let's do this little one first all right so as you can tell i have a bunch of these remy rose cosmetics liquid lipsticks in here but i also have two of the grabella lip glosses that were part of their barbie line so i'm gonna go ahead and swatch these for you guys let's hope this is not too long but these are like from what i've seen like not the greatest liquid lipsticks but i think they're cute they're cute little vibe but they're barbie just never know when you're gonna need barbie liquid lipsticks so i have those two and then going from light top which i think these are their hol holiday collection and then these are the normal collections that they always have um i love the liquid lipsticks because they actually put the names on the bottom unlike the glosses they don't first off we have the shade samantha which is a beautiful like more everyday wearable kind of vibe this one here is a beautiful dark pink kind of vibe this one here is in the shade camila I do have like glitter because of the glosses so then we get into the black top which are the like traditional they always have these around kind of vibe this one here is in the shade Lindsay, and i love using this like in the center when i do a like dark brown lippy next we have the shade drew which is a little more like brownie toned stunning if you haven't tried these girl these are worth it um we have the shade christy which is a beautiful pink kind of tone which I do tend to mix with my brown lip liners. Oh, wow. I just noticed I have an Ellie Colors hiding in here. Okay. And then we have the Remy Rose Liquid Lipstick in the shade Jenna. Which is like a dark brown. Beautiful. I just noticed we have a little Ellie Colors lipstick hiding. Girl, what's going on here? Get in there. Ellie Colors Velvet Lip Mousse in the shade R Rip City like a beautiful like dark pink completely forgot i had this all right so that's it for this little one first then we move on to the second little jar first off we have this my melody matte lip cream which is from the hot topic it actually came with that uh, little lip oil that i showed you guys earlier and this is like a really light pink kind of moment it's so cute i have one of the ava studio velvet lips liquid lipsticks in here yeah i think this is the only one that i kept um this one here is in the shade sabrina for the fall months this is gonna be beautiful it's like a really moussey kind of texture we have the wet and wild liquid katsu in the shade rebel rose this used to be my favorite liquid lipstick back in the day girl so again it's just kind of been sitting there and then we have a bunch of the uh, Dragon Rainy liquid lipsticks from Timu. If you guys have seen, these are just like variant, just these are like different um, variations of like pink liquid lipsticks. So I'm not going to swatch all of them. Um, but yeah, these all come in a set together. And these are definitely worth it. If you happen to see them, definitely pick them up. There's a look at the second little jar. Lastly, we have this baby here, which is actually like a plant holder or something um but i got it from the 99 before they closed so for 2.99 even cheaper maybe um so we're gonna go ahead and take out all the liquid lipsticks try to keep them together these are actually really old definitely should get rid of those but I'm not sure if i will today to be honest oh yeah i am so shocked i downsized my liquid lipstick so much girl this is not me a couple years ago so let's go through my ewe studio first these are the cosmic cowgirl liquid lipsticks that came along with those lip glosses that i talked about earlier these we're gonna go ahead and swatch we have the shade galaxy which is their brown tone this one's beautiful this is my type of shade girl 
Next we have the shade Outlawed. Ooh. Cute. Really love the packaging. These are the matte packaging versus the clear. See the difference there. And each like corresponding liquid lipstick goes with a lip gloss. This was the shade Comet. Not a favorite to be honest. And then lastly, we have the shade Deputy. A little deeper. Yeah, those two are not my favorite. I kind of like the first two. Hmm. But I don't want to swatch them again um, over on TikTok or Instagram. All right, so let's talk about the ones that I may declutter. So these are the Love Junkie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks. Um, these are also part of the makeup products that I bought when the 99 was going out of business. It's just really pretty. I don't think I'm ever going to use that shade. I thought maybe for like um, the Christmas time. But that's not my type of red either. I'm going to keep the dark shade which is in the shade After Party. We're going to get rid of the red version which is the backstage shade. And we're going to keep the After Party shade. I have this which is from Timu. This is the M ML Smile Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade one i like to keep this because of my uh timu videos i also love that big like bulky packaging we have one one size beauty liquid lipstick which comes with this is a shade night walker and the lip gloss over here i don't know the name but we're obviously gonna keep that let me go ahead and swatch even though this is a little messy vibes it's like a really dark brown tone and then it comes with the gloss is really next we have my Ioni cosmetics liquid lipsticks which honestly i really like to have a variety why i don't know so there's a look at the variety of shades that i have of the Ioni cosmetics liquid lipsticks let's go ahead and swatch them all i honestly have two that kind of look the same we're gonna swatch this brown one first again they don't have any particular names this one's so cute okay love we have this light pink wish they had names but they don't just in case you're like looking for these liquid lipsticks this dark pink one Ooh, that one's really pretty and then we have this like traditional red tone here Ooh, that's stunning too so then we have the two that kind of look similar vibes let's see how they swatch i'm gonna put this a little lower that is such a beautiful shade especially for the fall months that are coming <gasps> girl mm. and then we have this one let's see how this one looks these are really similar why do i have two okay so this one's giving vampy vibes and then this is giving like a dark red vibe so i think i am gonna keep both of them because girl math okay and then we have the black which i love to use during like halloween when i do dress up like a witch or anything it's just perfect so we're going to go ahead and keep this as well. I mentioned these three were actually from Amuse Cosmetics. And I like to just keep them because of the vibes. They just look stunning, but they are old. So first off, we have this pink right here, which is really cute. I don't know if I would trust to put these on my lips, to be honest, because I've had them for years. We have the orange. And... We have the like dark pink color. That one's stunning. Those are all my liquid lipsticks, girl. Again, I definitely downsized because this was not me back in the day. I had a lot of colors going on. I love my liquid lipsticks, as you guys know. I'm like debating, should I put these like this so you can see the colors? Yes, yeah, so there's a look at those, and those are all my liquid lipsticks. Swatches. Wow. This is going to be the last segment. We have my lipsticks and my lip oils on this side. So we're going to go ahead and do lipsticks first. We're going to swatch and then we're going to go on to the lip oils. Sorry, I keep bumping the camera. So again, we're going to do lipsticks first. I have these three lipsticks first. Again, these were sent to me. We're going to go ahead and swatch them. We have the shade Darlene Mocha, which is, it's interesting because it came, they come with this like little dot in the center these are so pretty we also have the shade elegant nude these are 
really beautiful and then lastly we have the shade honest berry girl look at those shades these lipsticks are so good definitely recommend if you haven't tried them out check them out they're like a really good formula and they're really nice and like moisturizing vibes look at that they're come, like kind of glossy vibes so those are the first three we also have a couple of these these maybelline lipsticks at the 99 cent store again before they closed we have the shade lagoon i have not used these at all but they're like really moisturizing too we have this one in the shade musk oh <gasps> girl musk and the actual like product itself it's really nice and glossy too i'm gonna have to use this soon and then we have the shade ecalyptic oh my gosh girl this one looks like a matte almost but no they're glossy as well they're all kind of glossy cute all right don't mind if i do i have let me see i don't want to swatch the ones that i have together so let's start off with the black la colors lipstick we also have these like right here oh we have these too a lot of la colors going on today so we're gonna swatch my la colors lipsticks first which are these so let's swatch the black one here in the shade stark this one again i also just use for like halloween looks or whenever i need a black lipstick Girl, I don't know why I'm like undecisive right now on how to do this. I want to show you guys the vibes. But I don't want to get like mixed up. Okay. Alright, next we have like these two. These are just their LA Colors lipsticks. And I have to say these are more on the glossy side. Um, we have the shade Cuddle which is a very light vibes we also have the shade oteddy which um marissa marie actually put me on to this is so cute love her videos we also have these which are their nude glam lipsticks which lean more on the um, matte side so we have the shade top notch beautiful i don't know why i'm swatching them all the way up here and we have the shade passion which is their pink we have the shade Soup Surreal, which is their like brown tone. They're stunning. All right, so let's get into the Ione ones, which are, these are actually newer to me. I showed them to you guys recently. Um, these are like cute and like heart shaped vibes. This one here is in the shade Pink Glow. Oh, it's like really light. And then we have the shade here, which is the one in Red Lily. Girl, these are very vibrant. We have this Flower Beauty lipstick from the Dollar Tree, which I love this color. This one's in Delilah Dahlia Desire, and it is a cream lipstick, part of the cream line or whatever. But girl, that is beautiful. I love berry lipsticks like this. We have a one Wet n Wild lipstick, which I just purchased from CVS in the shade Hush Little Beige, and this one actually got mixed in with like lip liner and stuff but it's still a beautiful shade stunning we also have this a studio lipstick in the shade fringe which girl it is so dry on the lips i don't know if it was this one or another one it felt creamy when i was swatching it i don't know i'm gonna have to try this one again but girl that shade is beautiful we have this lipstick from miniso which is the uh, villains collection moment in the shade 04 is one with um, Ursula on it. I just fell in love with this color. It's so beautiful. It is like matte vibes. Stunning. Okay, then we have some lipsticks over here. First off, we have the Beauty Creations Tease Me lipstick in the shade So It's Mine, which is a beautiful brown kind of vibe. Haven't used it in a while. Why? I don't know. But that's a beautiful color. Oh, again, I mentioned in a different video that I do have a skin rash from eating shrimp. It's a little reaction vibe. So if you see bumps, that's what's going on. Illusion lipsticks here. These were actually sent to me not too long ago. 
I love this packaging. It's so pretty. And then you get like the names on the side. They're kind of messed up right now, but first off, we have this shade Stiletto Brown. Girl, these lipsticks are so beautiful. They're nice and creamy. They're just nice. Then we have the shade Divine Brown. Ooh, love the shape of these lipsticks as well. They're just really nice. They're weighted. They're really luxe vibes. And then we have the shade Material Girl Wine, which is their pink. It's so beautiful. Next, we have these lipsticks from the Dollar Tree. First off, we have this a pinky tone here. Girl, these don't have names on them. I don't know if I want to swatch these, to be honest. They don't have names. You guys are not going to know which ones are which, but there's a pink one. Should we swatch them? I hear like chanting in my head, like, like made up chanting, like swatch them, swatch them. So I'm going to do it. So we have the first like salmon looking one. There's a look at that one. Then we have the pink, which is very like light vibes. I'm running out of space, girl, to swatch. We have this beautiful like brownie tone, brownie orange vibe. I haven't seen these at Dollar Tree ever again. I don't know what's going on. This orange vibe, which is kind of mixed in with like a brown lip liner. So this is the actual color here. And then lastly, for this little collection, we have this red. Um, should I swatch you? So pretty. Ooh, that's actually really pretty. I need to reach for this one. So far, no declutters because I actually really do love my lipsticks that I have to use them. We have the little collection of Barbie bullet lipsticks, which came with the lip liners and the lip glosses and the liquid lipsticks. So this one here is in 01. So it's just like a traditional lipstick moment they're a little hard to swatch yeah these are more again aesthetic vibes not really to use them there's the other one i don't know if you guys will find these this one's in 02 does not want to come out okay they're like really waxy vibes but there's a look at those finally we have these here which i think all of these were sent to me except the green the Maybelline Green Edition Balmy Lip Blush in the shade Midnight. I got this from the 99. Ooh, this is actually like a little lip gloss vibe. But it's pigmented, which is why I put it in here. We have this Revolution lipstick from the Emily in Paris collection in the shade... Girl, I don't know the shade, but it's a beautiful like red tone like a dark oh it almost looked dark it's so beautiful look at that oh i need to reach for that more um these were actually sent to me from covergirl i have not gotten a chance to use these um but they are markers i don't know why i keep them with my lipsticks there's a look at that and then we have these l'oreal ones which i think they also sent to me look at that these are so pigmented i don't know why i don't reach for these also kept this pink one here beautiful so those were all my lipsticks there and all of them swatched again they're just stunning i'm not gonna swatch my glosses so you know all right girl and lastly we're gonna go ahead and do my lip oils which are also in this like clear container i didn't show you guys the lipsticks but they're both in the same kind of container which i believe i purchased from dollar tree i honestly don't remember so i think we're gonna separate these by brand because i have a, quite a few from chamasse we have this random one we have this timo one this is dollar tree uh, 99 cent store so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um go ahead and separate them even though i have the clear one in my purse i completely forgot about that we have metamorphosis we have milk milk makeup i have a few of those
All right, so first I'm gonna show you guys the ones that live on the bottom, which are these like bulky little lip balms. And then we're gonna get into the other ones. But let me go ahead and move these. I like when you guys could see the little basket. I don't know why. So first off, we have this Coca-Cola lip balm, which I actually did get from Forever 21 a while back ago. I did a TikTok video about this and it's so cute. And it's a bedazzled little lip gloss lip balm moment. Love this. So cute. We also have this pineapple, which came with the uh what? <laughs> which came with the stitch lip balm. This one's also really nice. Oh girl. I'm not gonna use this. Should I just get rid of this? We're gonna put it to the side for now. We have two of the Frojo lip balms from Shop Miss A. And these are actually really nice i like using these so we're gonna go ahead and keep both of them but we do have the one in uh, caramel whipped cream and then we have this one in peachy lala passion fruit which is their pink one i'm actually throwing on some right now these are so cute as well hello kitty a little lip balm which i've had for a long time this is part of the um, creme shop hello kitty collection Look at that. It's so cute. I love using this. And I use it in my full face of Hello Kitty recently. We have my cute little alien, which is from Miniso. I did uh, mention this in a TikTok video, getting ready for Disneyland. There's a look at that. How cute. We have this um, Hello Kitty bow from Hot Topic as well. Kind of open it and then it has like a lip balm in there. That's so cute. Then we have my two stitch lip balms. How cute are these? You get the regular stitch and then you get the skello stitch. So love them both. I think I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the pineapple because I don't really use it that much. So we have these like very generic lip balms in here for some reason. The Salt Range Himalayan Pink Salt Lip Balm from the Dollar Tree and the uh, Vaseline Lip Therapy Rosy Lips. All right, next we have the Dollar Tree Lip Glosses. These are the LA Colors Crystal Lip Glosses and they're basically a bunch of little like gem ones you don't get a whole lot of products but they're mostly for aesthetic vibes we have the pink the purple and the blue these are really cute we also have these lip balms which have like a little flower in them from the dollar tree these are so cute we also got one with like a pink flower let me show you them together so you guys could get the vibe So you get the pink flower and the blue one. These are honestly not my favorite, but I did have a whole bunch. I just ended up keeping the pink. This is the Awa Studio Color Changing Lip Balm, part of their Mood Glow Collection. I honestly don't need this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her. We have the um, Bratz Little Lip Gloss, which is so cute. I'm never going to get rid of that. We have the Italia Deluxe Fat and Juicy Lip Gloss, no, Lip Oil, Lip Glow Oil, which is such a beautiful color stunning again i'm not gonna swatch my glasses i swatched a lot throughout this video and um, we also have this smoke and mirrors juice infused lip oil which i like to use with my pink lux this one does come with the dofa applicator really nice and juicy vibes we also get the uncommon cosmetics lip oil it's a rose infused this is like a roller gloss situation so cute this is the beauty intuition lip gloss and it has like a bunch of little hearts in it girl this is too cute we have the color changing lip oil from chamisse in here we have this one from hot topic which is part of their little mickey valentine's collection really cute kopari this is one of my favorite ones this is the tripeptide lip cloud i bought this from marshall's i believe look at the doe foot i'm gonna put some on right now really nice we have two from Timu. We have the Cobest Lip Oil, which, girl, this is beautiful. I love this. Cute. And then we have the Beauty Glazed Lip Glow Oil here as well. It's just clear. Next, we have the e.l.f. one. This is called their Glow Reviver Lip Oil in the shade Pink Quartz. It's like on the newer side. Beauty Creations came out with a bunch of these lip oils. I have this purple and a new pink one, which I'm going to use in a video soon. We have this strawberry flavored lip gloss. Honestly, I don't know why it's in here. I'm going to throw it in with my glosses. You have the LA Girl Sheer Tint Lip Balms, which I believe I did swatch in a TikTok video. So we have those as well. 
Um, I do have four in total of the Arhardu lip oils from Awe Studio. The clear version of these is in my purse. So we have the shade Sugar Coat. We have the one in Glow. And then we have the one in Bloom. So these are really cute. Really love the Dofa applicator on these. I always talk about these. So love, definitely recommend. We also have three of the Metamorphosis products here. Honestly, I don't really use the lip plumper a whole lot. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. But we are going to keep these two lip oil. These are really cute as well. You get a giant dofa applicator in there. And lastly, we have the Milk Makeup Lip Oils, which honestly I really have been enjoying. And I take them with me quite a lot in my purse. This is their Kush Lip Oil in Pink Magic. Again, they have that dofa applicator. They're really nice and hydrating. I definitely recommend these if you haven't tried them. We have the shade Dream Machine, the green one, another favorite. As you can tell, I like green. This one here is in Green Dragon when I do my monochromatic green looks. And then we have the shade Chocolate Cake, which is beautiful. So those are all of my lip oil. That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down below if you want to see more of my makeup collection. I believe all we have left is bronzers and eyeshadow palettes. So we'll definitely have to see. And that's also not including all my new makeup. I might have to include that in the next video as well. Just showing you guys what's in my new makeup drawer. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below if that's something you'll be interested in. And I'll see you guys on the next one. I'm going to have a little playlist for this um, little collection of videos down below. So definitely check that out. Definitely give this video a like and subscribe so you know to keep making them. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.